No, of course not. Catherine Clark, the incoming Democratic Party House whip, doesn't complain either. She should be because her own child has nightmares about climate change. Let me tell you what it means to, to me, coming in as a different generation. I remember my middle child waking up with nightmares over concern around climate change. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you terrorized your own children. You scared the crap out of little kids about climate. So you must be very upset about what Pete Buttigieg is doing to climate by flying private which is the most destructive thing you can do to climate other than signing off on the sabotage of a Russian natural gas pipeline, which I guess they also did. But who's noticing? But she's not worried about it. Catherine Clark doesn't care. And neither do her donors, including the environmental activists who send her all that money. Meanwhile, a lot of young people are very upset about climate. They believe Pete Buttigieg. And you know what they're doing? They're destroying some of the greatest artwork in Western civilization because they want you to know how important the climate is. It shows the destructive nature of our addiction to oil. During these times of catastrophic climate change is needed now more than ever. What is worth more, art or life? We cannot afford new oil and gas. It is going to take everything we know and love. So groups like that, those thugs, those monsters, the Stalinist mobs, didn't appear out of nowhere. It's not organic, of course. They were whipped into a frenzy by John Kerry and Nancy Pelosi and Pete Buttigieg. Those were their inspiration. But what's interesting is they're destroying the things that value most, that are most valuable in our society, our art, the legacy of our civilization. Video is horrifying. Two men on a motor scooter approach a 12-year-old girl from behind, grab her necklace, and then drag her down the sidewalk. It's scary to go out in the streets like most of the time, but other than that, like kids should be safe.